Welcome fellow steamers, I am back once again. Uh, this is the first update to SCEP, that's the Steam Client Enhancement Proxy. Essentially what it does is it uh, adds a few lines of code to uh, the incoming HTML from Steam, making it an overall safer and more featureful experience. Now, uh, before I get to showing it off, I'd just like to remind you guys that this project is open source, so the code is available for everyone to read and uh, help find bugs. On top of that, I would really appreciate your suggestions and criticism on uh, SCEP, uh, as good and bad criticism both help with development. So let's get on to the features. Um, if I open up Steam, onto this guy's profile here. I know I've been picking on this guy for the last uh, two videos. I just can't find anyone else to pick on. He seems to be legit. He's got 11 years and uh, trades TF2 and he's a fellow Canadian so they're always nice, right? Well, if we go ahead and enable SCEP and refresh the page, you'll notice that he's, his status right here is uh, as a scammer and he's cautioned. So, if we actually click on this uh, status right here, it will take us to the Steam Rep page where the information is taken from, and it will give us more details on the accusations. This also works um, on invites. So it will show you a list of, uh, or the, in the list it will show you the stati, uh, so you know whether to accept or not accept uh, requests from sketchy people if they've been uh, reported on Steam Rep. On top of that, the next feature I'm going to show you I find is going to be the most useful for me as I'm a beginner when it comes to trading. If I open up here Windows within Windows uh, and invite myself to a trade from my alt that is, you will see that our it says zero items in trade on both sides. This is because I'm running SCEP on both sides. Now it doesn't need to be running on both sides, but if you want it to show yourself the uh, the items and the price, you're going to have to run it on both sides. And here you see it has calculated that this is worth uh, six cents. Now this is taken right from the uh, Steam market. You can also have uh, trade TF, trade.tf prices. Now of course this only works with uh, TF2 items. Now I'm not sure if I have uh, any uh, marketable uh, items here. Now let's put a crate in. Nope. Uh, oh, right here. So you'll see that it calculated it at three cents and uh, 0.056 refined, and on this side as well. Now, um, another feature that I've added is uh, right here, there's the option to report a website. Now, once you log in, you'll have a simple form where you can report websites. Once you report a website, um, it will block it on other people who have this feature enabled. Now, you can enable this feature on the general tab, which is the web protection right here. Right now, just uh, to test it, I have it blocking uh, reporttest.com reporttest.com and you'll see here blocked by Steam CEP um, now this would be very useful for blocking phishing links and uh, other sorts of scams and viruses that have been going around lately now that's about it uh, of course there are a few more features but I don't think those are worth reviewing in detail not for this uh, video at least I am looking forward to hearing all your suggestions, issues, and criticism, and uh, have a wonderful day.